Greetings everyone, I am Anisha Vashne, a final year BTEC CSE student at Bennett University. I would like to thank my university and school of CSET BU professors and career cell at Bennett University for motivating, guiding and encouraging me to advance my skill set and to utilize it. So, as a part of my curriculum in my 8th semester, I did a full stack web development internship with Business Web Solutions for the tenure of four months and it was a great learning experience. I would like to thank my mentor HR Lisa Hoffman for her constant guidance throughout my internship. So about the company, BWS was established in 2018 by a passionate team as a web development company on the principles of high standards, ethics, and genuine customer service. And since then, company has provided a boost to many businesses and headquarters of this is located in USA. The motto of the company is to make healthy relations with the client. So in this presentation, we are gonna talk about internship timeline, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, ReactJS, Firebase. So here is my internship timeline. In February, I learned about what is front-end web development and its tools. I learned about web, back-end web development and its tools. I learned about HTML, CSS, and I did hands-on practice of HTML and CSS by completing assignments, which was given by my company. In the month of March, I learned JavaScript, learned how to make a website with the help of ReactJS, learned about Firebase database, hands-on practice of JavaScript, ReactJS, and Firebase by completing assignments which was provided by my company. In the month of April, I worked on a front-end of a project called Kara, made a responsive e-commerce website that includes home page, shop page, cart page, etc. And then after completion of that project, I took on another project and started on another e-commerce website called Multimart, but that was the full stack website. So moving onwards to the HTML. So what I learned in HTML is uh, the basics of HTML as HTML is the building block of the websites. I learned about HTML tags, inline, external, and internal stylings, etc. Also, I completed assignments provided by the company. Moving onwards to CSS, which is known as Cascading Style Sheet. CSS is a style sheet language used for describing the presentation of a document written in HTML. It is basically used to enhance the look of your website. So I learned the basic concept of CSS and also learned about Bootstrap used CDN, shadows, etc. and applied Bootstrap to the landing web pages, made a website from scratch by using Bootstrap, and also the website uh, I created with HTML, I used CSS in that also. Moving onwards, I learned JavaScript, which is a scripting language. You can create time, dynamically updating content, control multimedia, animated images, and pretty much everything else. I learned basics of JavaScript and its advanced topics, made learning projects like quiz, form validation, and many more projects on Java using JavaScript. Then I learned about ReactJS, which is a free and open source front-end JavaScript library. It helps to build user interface based on the components and those components can be used again and again in the HTML. Also, I learned the basics of ReactJS and advanced topics and hands-on practice on how to write React code. In ReactJS, we use .jsx uh, extension and now moving onwards to Google Firebase. Firebase is a set of backend cloud computing services and application development platform. I learned about how to create database, how to integrate it and advanced topics. Learned about Firebase real-time database, which is a cloud hosted database. So this is the design of the home page. This is the design of the shop page and cart page. 
this is the design of about page and blog page and this is the design of the contact page hope you liked it so here is the demo of my second project it is a full stack responsive e-commerce website called multimart I decided to use HTML, CSS, JavaScript, ReactJS, and Firebase. You can see this is our home page. In the navigation bar, home is highlighted, which indicates we are on home page. As you scroll down, you can see feature of the company, its trending product designs. Here is a plus sign. By clicking on that, you can directly add that item into the cart. So here you can see the product added to the cart successfully now coming on the next section it is the best selling products then this section shows offers going on moving ahead this is the section of new arrivals and then the products which are popular at last this is the footer where you can see the details and the contact of the company and all the necessary navigation links now when you come to the shop page you can browse through the menu what all things are available for purchase as you can see items are also categorized here so if i click on chair you can see the chairs available if i click on watch you can see the watches available you can also search by typing see if i type phones uh, the phones are coming next page now is your cart page if you go on cart you can see there are two items which i added by mistake i i can delete uh, them also from here directly so now there is no item added to the cart okay and you have two options here if you want to continue shopping you can click on continue shopping it will come back on the shop page now we are on the shop page again i will add a few things in the cart and if you click on any of the it will take me to the product description page so here you can see the product with its description and the reviews you can also leave your experience here and these are the products you might also like so if i go back on the shop page I will add three products of my choice to the cart. And now I will go to the cart page and proceed to checkout. you definitely have to log in first if you don't have your account then create a account from clicking here so this is our sign up page i will fill all the details here and you can see the account will be created successfully so first let's write the username i am writing it here anisha i will enter the password and i will choose a profile picture and i will create an account you can see the account created successfully so now i will log in with the same account Now I will click on login. So it will directly take me to the 
checkout page. You can see at the checkout stage you have to fill the form. Without filling the form, you cannot place your order. So you have to mention all the details like this. You have to enter your phone number also and then you have to click on place your order. So this is the database of the project. Here in the authentication, you can see the ID which I created just now. And in the storage section, you can see the image which we uploaded during the sign up and we use this image as our profile picture is here and in the Firestore database you can see the collection of the username, email, the photo URL and the user ID. So in the span of two weeks this is the progress of the project. Further in this project I will add admin site, dashboard and payment mode also. Hope you liked it. Thank you for being a patient listener.